Some researchers would separate our true self from our behaviours. I quite like that because that's a very forgiving frame. We are not our behaviours. Uh, sometimes we make poor choices, that isn't the sum of who we are. One of the things I see happening on social media a lot is this idea, if someone gets angry, they say, I knew it, now I'm seeing your true self. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. They got dysregulated, they didn't handle their stuff, they got angry and now we're gonna judge the entire person as an angry person. It's like somebody who tries to provoke me and I've had it happen many times in my career and they're just at me and at me and I, get a little upset and have a healthy brain. I knew you weren't that spiritual. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can be spiritual and I can have healthy boundaries and I can say I'm not okay with this. So just be really mindful that it isn't always a false self on the outside, that many people are doing the work and bringing true self to the front. And true self can include appropriate anger. It really can. You can be Buddhist and express anger. So just be mindful that true self isn't all sweetness and lovely and kind and you're just perfect. It's not an unconditional mother love. True self can have all the emotions, sadness, disappointment, anger, grief, loss, happiness, all of it. So let's be really mindful of what we're calling someone when they're being angry or that it's not. We can be all of that and having the whole expression is true that's that's a beautiful thing